A couple days ago, we drove the famous million dollar highway from Silverton to Ure with incredible views and stops along the way. And after exploring part of the Ure area by Jeep yesterday, today we're going to explore the town by foot. Ure is a small mountain town tucked into the San Juan Mountains, which is named after Chief Ure of the Ute tribe and is nicknamed the Switzerland of America because of its beauty. But many years before this became a popular tourist spot, this area was inhabited by the Ute Native Americans. For centuries, the tribe traveled here during the summer months to fish, hunt, and to soak in what they called their sacred miracle waters. In fact, the town's original name was Uncompagre, which is a Ute word for hot water springs. In 1873, Chief Ure, who was the leader of both the Tabawash and Uncompagre bands of Southern Ute, reluctantly signed a government treaty releasing their San Juan territory to encroaching settlers, and in 1876, the town was incorporated and named in Chief Ure's honor. Ure feels like a bigger and slightly busier version of Silverton, which is just down the million dollar highway from here. And similar to Silverton, Ure has a lot of mining history, and the downtown area is full of beautiful historic buildings. along the streets in town here they have these placards here that give you a little bit of a history of the blocks and the buildings that all surround you about how they were built and what kind of changes they had throughout the years. We have a fun walking adventure planned in Ure today, which we'll tell you more about in a minute. But first, we're gonna check out Box Canyon, which is a 285 foot waterfall that dumps thousands of gallons of water inside of a narrow canyon. It costs $5 per adult to visit and less for kids. And unfortunately, dogs are not allowed. So Kona's gonna sit out this part of today's adventure. In the 1870s, early settlers explored this area, not because of its beauty, but because they thought there was silver ore here. Some of them saw some green markings on the wall that kind of indicated there might be silver. They didn't find very much here, so it eventually became a tourist attraction. The big column of the waterfall is directly below us right here and then we were standing on the steel frame on the steel walkway just down here i don't know if you can see it but maybe it's right below us pretty nuts we had heard that box canyon was a must visit but it truly exceeded all my expectations This 
tunnel that takes you from the uh, high bridge trail, the bridge over the Box Canyon, comes out the other side, which it looks like it's the perimeter trail, I'm pretty sure, which is actually what we're gonna be doing next. <laughs> The Perimeter Trail is a six mile loop that goes all the way around the town of Ure. You gain about 1,500 feet of elevation and you'll get to see four waterfalls, five bridges, and a secret troll under one of the bridges. One of the most interesting things I think or we think about this trail is you're never more than 500 feet vertically above the town or a mile horizontally. So, and there's multiple entry and exit points. So if you need to step off for whatever reason, you wanna get a, take a break, get some lunch, and then hop back on, you can. So we're gonna start at the visitor center and go clockwise around the loop. It's all uphill at first. <laughs> wow. Heck yeah. <laughs> We're at our first major stop on the perimeter trail, Cascade Falls. It's about 0.9 miles into the trail. This trail is rated moderate on all trails. It's definitely not easy. It's not the hardest trail ever, but it's just constantly up and down, up and down to keep you sweaty and keep your heart going. I'm super sweaty and the trail is like uh, dirt, pretty slick dirt and uh -huh. it can get pretty steep going up and down. So there can just, be some be drop careful. offs, yeah. drop offs too yeah. off the side. So just watch your step and don't get caught looking off yeah, and the walking. Yeah, the views too much. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the ground. Yeah. <laughs> So we're currently two miles in exactly, and we're right here, kind of in the southeast corner of town. We started right up here, so we've already gone all that way. We're taking a quick little snack break on this nice rock outcropping overlooking this valley here and the other day when we came into town i stopped into ure meat and cheese market and got a little goodies for our hike today so this is the mountain man mix it's cheese and some uh meat sticks that are cut up there and then i got a few more of these beef sticks here they're actually some of the best ones we've ever had i got a variety i got a jalapeno parmesan uh garlic parmesan and a peppered one they're very tender and, and, and flavorful. They're just really good. So we got, like I said, I got three different flavors and threw them all in one bag. So it's kind of like a beef stick roulette. Yeah. What do meat, you think you got? Meat stick roulette. Uh, this might be the one garlic and cheese, but it might be pepper. I'm not really sure, <laughs> but they're really good. Another benefit of the trail is you have a lot of city views and it goes around the city or the town but you also dip down on the southern end dip down along the million dollar highway and you're just in the forest seems like away from any civilization so you get forest views and get away from all the the city town but then you also get the town views along the way it's a good mix of scenery along the way We 
made it down to the Uncompagre River. Rushing right under us on a bridge is a waterfall over there. And lots of mosquitoes attacking us. Yeah. I pulled a muscle on my shoulder from vigorous swatting. Oh God, we're being attacked. We're being attacked. Y'all, they have a Via Ferrata here. It's right on this rock wall. And let me tell you, if you thought our West Virginia Via Ferrata looked scary, this one is way more terrifying. There's this wire ladder just dangling from like one top of one rock to the bottom of the other. We kind of want to do it. We're not going to, but we'll have to come back and do it sometime. <laughs> Bridges here, she can see straight down, she's not a fan of that. <laughs> okay. We're back in the tunnel by Box Canyon. We did it. According to all trails, it says it was 6.7 miles. It took us three hours and 51 minutes. It was about 1657 feet of elevation gain. What an awesome hike. We've never been to Switzerland before, but what we can say is the San Juan Mountains are absolutely gorgeous and it's one of our favorite places we've ever been in Colorado and the United States in general. It's just mind-blowingly gorgeous here. We have one more hike we want to do in the San Juans, but unfortunately it's still a little bit too snowy, so we're gonna try to come back in a little over a week and hope that we can actually do the hike then. But until then, we are headed to Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park, just like an hour north in Montrose, which is our final, last final, our final new national park in Colorado. <laughs> So cool. Yeah. So we just left a camp spot. We're starting off our morning with some elk, some deer, and the best part, a moose sighting. So cool. Baby bat tub 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 tub. Baby bat tub 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 tub. Sorry if you have that uh that song stuck in your head for the rest of time. Baby bat tub tub. It's, it's addicting. Yeah. I can't stop singing it. <laughs> Waterfall there. And lots, lots of mosquitoes. Oh, sorry. Lots of mosquitoes. Sorry, you gotta do it over. 